What's up, gamers? Thank you guys so much for watching episode four of my survival series. We are up to, I believe, 30 sub 35 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, now I gotta be honest with something, guys. In this episode, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a, a little bit of a catch-up episode. What that means is I've been doing a lot of stuff. I've been doing a lot of stuff in the single-player world. But before that, I gotta explain myself. So, the first three episodes that you just saw, I recorded them over Christmas break. While I went home, and I set up my PC, and I played Minecraft, and I was like, hey, I should really record a survival series. And it worked out. It finally worked out. <laughs> and so since then, I've been spending my free time in college, like, outside of doing homework and working, I have been spending my free time editing videos. So, basically, I haven't really been able to play in my single-player world all that much without feeling guilty that I haven't finished editing all the episodes that would catch you guys up with all the progress I've made. So, that's what this episode is going to be. It's going to be a catch-up episode. I'm going to catch you guys up on all the progress I've made. I made that thing back there, which is a mob farm, and it solved my little XP problem. That back there, which is a villager breeder and iron farm. And I also finished, well, I almost finished my mine shaft. But, yeah. I made a lot of progress. I also went to the nether, but my nether spawn is pretty terrible, so <laughs> I didn't really do much in there yet. So, that's what this episode is going to be about. Thank you guys so much for the support again. Uh, if you want to follow my Twitch stream, which I will be streaming almost daily. So, here's my schedule of my streams. If you want to go check me out on Twitch and follow me, that would be a big thanks. Thank you guys for all the support. Enjoy the video. So this is the plan. We're going to build up the little villager spawner thing, and then we're going to go find a village, and we're going to have to transport a few villages all the way back. It might take a while, and we might have to do it by boat, because there is no way I have that many rails, but <laughs> uh, we're going to have to do it, so might as well get started. So here goes the journey. Found the village, and I'm not sure if this is the same village I found earlier. It might be. I have no idea. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. Here, I just saved your village. You're welcome. <sighs> okay, well, I gotta figure out if there's, like, any river nearby so that I don't have to just boat these guys across a few blocks of land. Good thing I found this right, at least kind of close to the ocean. We got a blacksmith. Preferably, we would want some unemployed villagers. Preferably. Actually, I think they lose their uh, jobs once you take them away from, once you take them far enough away from their workstations, I'm pretty sure. Or if you just break them. Oh! Okay, well, I don't need that. I could use that and that, though. Yo yoink! Yoink! You guys are now normal villagers. How does it feel? Okay, is this kind of a straight shot to the ocean? Okay, not really. No, no, it definitely is not. Yoink. Okay, no, this is pretty close, actually. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> He's like, why did you take my grindstone? Ooh, okay, then. Okay, well, we're gonna, you know, just casually bridge our villagers over a ravine of death, but I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good about my life choices. Wait, where'd that villager go? Come here, boy. Oh, there you are. Hello there. Oh! <laughs> I just teleported in there. That was great. Okay. Oh, my A key isn't working. This makes boating even more difficult than it needs to be. Sick. Okay, we got one villager. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just- I've never seen a villager want to jump off of a boat and drown himself more than this guy. That 
that's kind of a problem. Oh! You know what? I'm just gonna hope that that villager doesn't die while I go upstairs and sleep. Why didn't I bring a bed with me? I got my bed, yeet. Let's see, if I could have some sort of a system. Actually, this might not be too bad. Now, I can just bring these guys right there, and then I think I have enough rails that I could actually just... And bring this guy right here. Nice. How you doing, buddy? He's looking at something. He really likes stone. He must be a stonemason. Uh, yes. Yes, I am just gonna leave that villager right there. Will anything go wrong? No. I got myself some friends. Look at them. They're adorable. Can you scamper underwater? Because it sure likes it sure looks like these dolphins are scampering underwater. Yeah. They're doing the water scamper. Village number two, village number two is on the way. Nice. Told you nothing would go wrong. We got a two villagers here, and let's see. I still need to build up their house, so we're gonna build a little house. That's what we're gonna do. Perfect. Nice. Okay, now we lock this off. And we close these guys up. Now, we gotta make sure these two stay safe. And another thing that I have to do is I need to make sure to sleep just in case. So, there's plenty of torches in there. And I don't think that mobs can spawn anywhere near villagers. I really don't think they can. So, I think just to be safe, actually, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to close that up right for right now. Okay, they're in that box. We're going to build up the villager breeding station now. Son, we need to have a talk about the birds and the bees, how children are made, how you came into this world. That was like the stupidest joke I've ever made. Anyways, this is the villager breeder I, built, I made. So I accidentally lost the footage <laughs> of when I was building this. So please forgive me. So hopefully this short tour will suffice. But this is basically what it is. So there's a farmer in here. And he farms carrots. And when his inventory is full of carrots, then what he does is he goes to these villagers over here and he throws carrots at them. And then when their inventories are full of carrots, they throw carrots at each other. And then, villagers, loves, villagers love food so much that they make a baby. Villager baby falls through into the water. He stays there when he's small, but when he grows up, his head clips into the water and villagers naturally float. So, he goes up into the water stream 
and falls into the automatic villager vending machine. Perfectly humane. Congratulations. You're being employed. Don't resist. Yep. I'm giving these guys a purpose in life. Don't hate me for that. Oh yeah, and then you can press this button, minecart comes out, hit, uh, catches one of these villagers, and off another rail system it goes. So yeah, hopefully that suffices. But the footage I did not lose is me building this iron farm. So basically, how iron golems spawn is whenever there is trouble in a village, in other words, whenever is okay you can barely see it but okay let me get to a better vantage point so you guys can see okay so basically whenever a zombie comes into a village he scares the villagers and then the villagers they got all frantic and then that spawns an iron golem in the village so the iron golem is technically supposed to protect them but this zombie isn't going to hurt them so basically an iron golem will spawn you see that right there i got the water streams pushes it into lava and then it kills the iron golem and that's how you make an iron farm it's pretty simple I've made this design for an iron farm at least like a billion times, so uh, don't fact check me on that. It's just been a billion times. You could take my word for it. Anyways, this iron farm is pretty efficient. Uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty efficient. That's that's equivalent of let's see, what did that take me? Two and a half hours first episode. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I'd say like uh, almost twenty hours of mining right there and i haven't even afk'd at this place like overnight or anything i've just been playing in my world and that's all the iron i've gotten from this just working in the background so there you go basic lesson in minecraft java mechanics so there you go uh, i'm not sure if uh both of these designs will work in bedrock edition if you're planning on making this in your own survival world uh, but I do know that there are plenty of tutorials out there on YouTube. If you guys want me to make you a tutorial on how to make the villager breeder or the automatic villager dispensing system or the iron farm or whatever, then I don't know. Leave a comment down below and I will consider making that. Now the next thing I built in my survival world is this mob farm. This thing is super awesome. I'm super proud of it. So let's get up here and let me show you how it works. So basically there's a bunch of dark platforms up there. I have a system with like dispensers that like put out water buckets and stuff. All the mobs spawn on the platforms. Water pushes them off of the platforms and then they fall into this chute where I kill them for their glorious XP. Wow. Look at that XP bar look go up. It's like one of the most satisfying things in Minecraft ever. And then once I got enough XP I go over here to my enchanting station and enchant my stuff. Fun fact, music discs are dropped by creepers that are shot and killed by a skeleton. So I've actually gotten quite a few music discs from this, so that's pretty sick. And, so whenever the mobs drop stuff, they go through this line of hoppers, go into this automatic sorting system that I've built. So if you guys want a tutorial on this, I could probably make one. So the exact design of this uh, sorting system is not my own. This is, I can't really remember who it is. I'll leave the link to the video in the description and you guys are free to check it out. It's super useful. I use it in so many different farms. And can you guess where I built this mom farm at? That's right. Twitch. Twitch.tv slash the shmi. Just trying to give you guys incentive to check out my awesome content. Anyways. So yeah, you can see there, mobs spawn on these platforms. I'm too close to the platforms for any mobs to spawn right now. But as you can see, water pushes the mobs off and then they go into the water stream and then fall down the chute, ready for me to kill. This is just a simple redstone clock that tells the dispensers when to output the water and such. So yeah. Highly recommend you make this in your own world. It's worth it. There's a the dolphin. Come here, buddy. Give me your magical powers. So yeah, here's some sick montages of me building the iron farm and mob farm.
guess what, guys? So I was just minding my business, getting XP, and then I got this, Bloodthirsty, defeat 2,500 mobs. And I get a Sharpness 4 Enchanted Book out of it. That's what I've been waiting for. Nice. Now we can put this on our sword. Let's do that. Actually, hold on. Let's see if we can get uh, Silk Touch really quick. Silk Touch on a pick. Okay, that's not it. Put you in the grinder. Oh, no. There we No. Okay, this is it. This is it. Our... Silk Touch really isn't that rare. Oh, look. We got another. 200 plus experience, 64 lapis. Wow, that's amazing. Journeyman, ch enchant 50 items. Thank you very much. I just want Silk Touch. That's Thank you. Thank you. I don't have 30 levels. I need to get more levels. Give me my sword. There we go. We got one Silk Touch. Now, let's see if we can get extra enchantments on it. <gasps> I'm breaking three. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Actually, let's get a book. Let's get some books to see if we can get some efficiency books. Nope. Okay. Fortune 2. No. Fire. No. No. Okay, this isn't working. Show this four. I'm breaking. No. I don't want any of that. <laughs> I just want efficiency on it. Because that's what I asked. I need it. Efficiency four. Ha 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 ha. I need 30 levels. Come on. Yep. Nope. Still spiders. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. This doesn't need to be the most efficient XP grinder in the world. This just needs to get me there. At least I don't have to go into the nether and try to find another course. Because that stuff is difficult to find. Especially now with so many different nether biomes. Don't get me wrong. They're, they're super cool. But when you're just trying to find netherrack, it's not the best. Let's be honest. We got so many music discs. That's sick. That's awesome. Worth it. Let's see, what should we listen to first? Chirp? Oh my goodness. self-touch and our own breaking now we got efficiency for very nice actually yeah that's good six nice cool beans nice we got a really good arsenal of tools oh actually let's combine sharpness make sharpness five nice now we just need them breaking on there oh we got another enchantment 12 lapis and 50 experience for needle sharp Obtain the sharpness five. Fantastic. That's pretty awesome. Talk about progress, am I right? <laughs>